Hello friends and welcome. My name is Dr. Heather Carden and I'm coming to you live from Kansas City and we're very excited to be here with you on this Wednesday helping you better understand all of our amazing products that we have here at Prove It. So I want to help you better understand all things ketones and ketosis. So as you're joining, let us know where you're joining from. Again, my name is Dr. Heather Carden. I'm coming to you live from Kansas City. I am the co-owner of Carden Center for Wellness here in Overland Park, Kansas. I have been with this amazing community since the very beginning, since 2015. I've actually been studying ketones and ketosis for over 20 years. So very, very excited when Prove It actually launched the first pure therapeutic exogenous ketone back in 2015. A little bit about our practice. I've been practicing alongside my husband for 25 years. I practice a very functional style of medicine. And for almost 99.9% .9 of our patients, each and every one who walked through the doors, no matter what the health history may be, what their health concern or health journey may be, their health goals, we always start with removing all processed sugar, processed foods, and cutting out the processed carbohydrates, processed sugars, artificial sugars, and getting down to a whole food diet. Going back to the basics, which is eating healthy fats, healthy carbohydrates which come from above ground greens which is really the basics of a low carb ketogenic diet so i've been teaching this diet for again well over 20 years I've been practicing it and living this lifestyle for well over 20 years i can't tell you how excited i am to actually see what prove it did which no one else could do is they made the first pure therapeutic exogenous ketone if you've ever tried to go on a ketogenic diet which is actually eliminating the carbohydrates or reducing your carbohydrates down to about 25 percent for females a little bit higher for males and increasing your overall fat intake to somewhere around 70 to 80 percent of your overall diet and having a moderate protein intake it sometimes can be very tricky to do especially if you have other health ailments it's hard to actually stay in that state of ketosis when your body's burning fat for fuel and that's what ketosis means now prove it did again what nobody else could do i know i've said that three times now because it's that exciting you can now grab your favorite shaker bottle. Mine happens to be this Rhino. You grab a favorite flavor, and I'm actually drinking hibiscus lemonade, and you simply grab it, grab 12 to 16 ounces of water, put it with the shaker bottle, and mix up pure therapeutic ketones, and you drink that within about 20 or 25 minutes, 30 minutes, put your body in that amazing state. Once you drink it, put your body in a state of ketosis in less than 59 minutes. Now, if you're actually practicing the ketogenic diet without pure therapeutic ketones, I've had it take patients in the past anywhere from days to weeks to months to get in that state of ketosis. And sometimes they just can't stay there because of stress, lack of sleep, gut health issues or other issues coming up like too much stress, again, lack of sleep, or they have other issues going on that actually inhibit them from actually staying in that amazing state of ketosis. Now we have this amazing innovative technology where you can actually drink ketones and put your body in that state in less than 59 minutes and you can actually stay in that state anywhere from two to six plus hours. So we do recommend that you drink at least two servings a day to get the max amount of benefits so you can optimize your health. But my job here today is actually to learn more about the questions you have about our amazing products as we have more than just pure therapeutic ketones. We have our amazing reboot kit, which is actually in the store today, which is our incredible optimizing your health 60 hour supplemented keto reboot system that we do one time a month. We have exogenous ketones, we have keto cream. So we have keto pro, we have bra. So let us get down to your questions. But again, let us know where you're coming from. Let us know what flavor you're drinking today. Let us also know, um, again, what uh, your favorite flavor is and let us know where you're watching from. <clears throat> so Matthew says, why should I focus on what I'm trying to be on a keto diet? Total sugars or total carbs? So Matthew, what we do know is that all carbohydrates actually break down into sugars. So we know whether you're eating carbohydrate or protein, you have to use insulin to break down into that. The great thing is that when you're using exogenous ketones, you actually can choose any lifestyle that you like. You can be a pescatarian, you can be on a paleo lifestyle or paleo journey, you can be on a low carb, a ketogenic journey, 
You actually don't have to choose a specific lifestyle. You don't have to be on a ketogenic lifestyle or ketogenic journey or diet to actually get the benefits of drinking pure therapeutic exogenous ketones. You can choose to be paleo or low carb and still get your body in that amazing state of ketosis. So that is the great thing of actually using pure therapeutic ketones. You can again be a vegan or a vegetarian. In the past, it's been sometimes difficult if you're a vegan, a vegetarian, maybe you want to do more of a paleo lifestyle to actually continue to get the benefits of ketones, which is better mindset, better health, better cognition, more oxygen to your brain and to your muscles, protect your lean muscles, you get better digestion, a better focus, better craving control, better satiety. You probably have sometimes trouble getting those benefits when you're on a paleo diet. Now you can actually be on a paleo diet, vegetarian diet, a low carb diet, and still get the benefits of ketones. And I love if you're just sitting there, maybe you don't have a question, you're maybe new to this community, you can read these amazing, uh, amazing experiences people are sharing here. So welcome, Bianna. Welcome, welcome for your first time watching here and first time experiencing ketones. Love to have you here. Great questions. How do ketones help with sleep and also give you amazing energy? So this is an amazing question. I love this question. So energy in our body is not stimulants. Oftentimes people say, oh, it gives me energy. We think it's stimulants like caffeine or those other energy drinks. Our body runs on energy. It runs on glucose or it runs on ketones. That's the energy for the cells in our body. Now we compare glucose to ketones. Glucose comes from carbohydrates and proteins and only gives us about 30 minutes of energy if it comes from a carbohydrate, 90 minutes if it comes from something like proteins. Now, if it comes from healthy fats, it actually breaks down, doesn't need any insulin, and you can get up to four hours of energy from healthy fats. So the great news is when you're comparing glucose to ketones, it's a better energy source. You get about 33% more oxygen per molecule when your body is burning glucose, uh, ketones compared to glucose. You also, get two, you also get two units of ATP, which is our fuel molecule, when you're burning glucose glucose, you get three molecules of a fuel source ATP when you're burning ketones. So again, it's about 33% more fuel efficient, so more oxygen, more ATP when you're burning ketones compared to glucose. So it's a much more fuel efficient energy source. It creates a tidy, which means you feel fuller longer. It's a better energy source. So it's going to carry you through the night. It's going to make your energy feel better. It's going to help stabilize that blood sugar. You're not going to have those cravings go up and down that you get because again, carbohydrates can only make you feel fuller for again about 30 seconds 30 minutes or longer so you're going to feel much better longer but we also know is that sugars can actually excite the nervous system ketones actually calm down the nervous system they increase some of the neurotransmitters called GABA and calm down DOPA which is our excited turn neurotransmitters where sugars and carbohydrates stimulate GABA so when you calm down neurotransmitters like GABA, I'm sorry, like dopamine and increased GABA, you get better cognition, you get better memory, you get better recall. You also get better sleep because it helps put your body into that amazing state of sleep quicker because it helps calm down the nervous system. When your nervous system is calm and relaxed, again, during the day, you get better energy because you're getting more oxygen, more ATP. You're also gonna get, get better brain function because you're getting better memory, better recall, and at night, it's gonna get you to better sleep. When you're burning sugar per se versus ketones. Now sugar, you're going to have an up and down energy. You're not going to remember things very quickly. They're going to go in and out of your brain super quick. Like, what would I say? Where did I park? What was on my grocery list? And then if you have sugar before bedtime, we know it also excites the brain system. So it's going to be harder to calm down that brain to go to sleep. So remember we're talking about energy is for the cells. It's not a stimulant. So that is a great question. I know I saw a couple questions about things like shringomyelia and fibromyalgia and spondylolisthesis and congestive heart disease. So when we start talking about specific health conditions, we need to stop and think just a minute, no matter what the letters may be, if it's ALS or MS, or it's things like stringomyelia, or it's things like MS or spondylolisthesis, we start talking about specific ailments. Think about this. Might that person need more energy? Well, especially if someone who maybe is having MS or someone who has MD or someone who has maybe some type of other ailment, could they use more energy? Do they seem tired to you? Just ask them. Or how are they sleeping? Could they use or benefit from better sleep? Usually the answer is yes. Or maybe ask them like, 
Do you have problems with craving control because ketones help with craving control? Or do you ever have problems remembering things like birthday list or grocery list? Or do you remember where you parked your car when you came out of the gym or the grocery store? Or do you have those names or like playing games and cards? Oftentimes those little quick things, you can ask five or six questions. Would you love more energy? How are you sleeping? Are you sleeping deep enough? Do you feel refreshed when you wake up? How's your memory? Are you remembering things you used to remember like high school names and pictures of people? <laughs> I always go back to the year of high school or do you actually wish you had more craving control or actually wish you had more control over saying no to sugar do you actually wish that you ate healthier and had more satiety or felt fuller longer throughout the day and could actually do intermittent fasting so you kind of just acknowledge the disease but you're not a doctor when you're sharing this conversation with friends and family just simply ask them how they feel and then again they do need to check with their health care provider if they do have a significant health issue and make sure their doctors do know what they're taking so when it comes to sharing this amazing conversation our incredible products make sure their health care provider knows that this is not a contraindication for anything they're already taking with their health um, with their current health condition So that is gonna be this time with pregnancy. So I see I've got two or three questions about pregnancy. So we, when it comes to pregnancy, you need to check with your healthcare provider. You need to check with your nurse, midwife, or whoever is taking care of your pregnancy. Um, just to have a conversation, say, is this safe for me? I understand that our babies are in ketosis at about 20 weeks, as long as they're breastfed after they're born, they're in ketosis. However, I know for my patients, I wanna make sure they're drinking enough water. I also wanna make sure they're having a non-caffeine because caffeine can be dehydrated we don't want the placenta to get dehydrated so always check with your health care provider first to make sure who's ever is in charge of your pregnancy and again if you're lactating or you're breastfeeding just make sure you check with your lactating consultant or your nurse midwife or your OB whoever's in charge of that and let them know that you'd like to take this product we would never recommend the reboot kit or 24 fasting or any of their fasting products which is again the reboot kit or the 24 fast for anybody underneath the age of 18 any Anyone who's trying to get pregnant anyone who is pregnant or expecting or anyone who is breastfeeding we don't want any type of calorie reduction in any of those states either again someone underneath 21 trying to get pregnant and or is it pregnant and expecting or is breastfeeding because we don't want those calories to be cut so again just check with your health care provider I know the question was about the black label and that would be a no because it has 30% more caffeine in it 30% more ketones 30% more B vitamin but specifically it would be the caffeine but again check with your health care provider there has not been any studies done with ketones and pregnant women ketones again were studied well over 100 years for children who are non-responsive to seizure medications we put them on a ketogenic diet so they lower the carbohydrate increase the fat intake which mimic what newborn babies were doing and found that the seizures would actually significantly decrease and go away in many of those situations so they mimic what newborn babies were doing and found that, that was very beneficial to children who were having epileptic episodes sometimes hundreds a day and found that that was actually helping those children so with that being said again check with your health care provider first again and see again if that was okay with them i always just want to make sure that we're on the same page before we're recommending that to people who have a health care condition Oh, I love it. everyone's still saying what they're what they're drinking Ruby Rush the uh, Mitoplex first thing in the morning in the afternoon so I know you guys are asking I see some of the flavors so can you please give me benefits of Prue it's AM PM line so we do have a signal AM and a signal PM which you'll see that come in the reboot kit I don't think I grabbed those that come in the reboot kit and also come in the 24 fast but signal AM has some very specific um, synergistic herbs and new vitamin nutrients that actually help wake up your adrenal glands they work synergistically with our keto nat to actually help rise and shine your adrenal glands get them up and running 
running. They take the burden off the adrenal glands, take the burden off the thyroid to help get your body up and going. Remember the thyroid gland is kind of the ignition for the body. The adrenal glands are the engine. So the Signal OS again is a synergistic formula to help get your body up and started for the day to make it easier to run, kind of like a fuel injector for to say. And then the Signal PM actually works to help the body rest. So it can begin its rejuvenation and restoration throughout the, out the sleep cycle. So the herbs in there are actually to help restore and rejuvenate the body as it goes through the sleep cycle, as it goes through all four stages throughout the night, helps cellular debris, helps that autophagy cycle throughout the evening while you're sleeping, helps you get to into that stage four sleep much quicker and easier. So again, there's more information on our YouTube channel. You could always look at our, our website. You can also get with the person who invited you to this page and they can help you walk through where to find that information. But again, that signal AM and PM is very synergistically formulated to help your body wake up much easier in the signal AM AM and to work with the keto nat and then as you go into rest and rejuvenate it's meant to work with this the signal I'm sorry work the signal PM is meant to work with the keto OS nat and also the keto pro So someone's asking how fast you go out of ketosis when you're eating. So this is a very individualized. So how long, I think is the question, how long do you stay in ketosis after drink one serving of keto nat? It's going to be very individualized. But we do know is that the more keto adapted your body gets, the longer your body is going to stay in that state. And this is true for people who actually begin the ketogenic diet without using exogenous ketones. But I, what I have seen over the last five and a half years using exogenous ketones in my clinic with my friends, with my patient, my family, is that adding the exogenous ketones with the ketogenic diet, people are staying in that state longer, they're getting at a higher therapeutic level, and science has really come around the last really 36 to 48 months showing that the higher the level, the better. We didn't used to say that 10 years ago, we used to say just any level, 0.5 or higher on the blood meter is yes, you're in ketosis. Now we know that the higher the therapeutic level, around 0, 2.0 on the blood meter to 4.5 is a higher level, it's a therapeutic level it's a fat burning level you're going to increase protein synthesis so we do know that after drinking one single serving of keto keto nap so many factors can be involved stress from your adrenal glands lack of sleep maybe poor dietary cell function maybe you have weak cells that don't uptake the ketones if you have a sedentary life it can actually not sustain your ketosis level as long as some other people who are more active who have stronger cells but know that you can actually increase the strength of your cell function and increase that lymphatic drainage and as you get more mobile as you stay stronger it's going to actually increase that time that you stay in that therapeutic level of ketosis so maybe the first two or three months you drink keto os nat and you only maybe stay in ketosis <clears throat> two to three hours. Well, if the next three or four minutes, as you feel better, you have more energy, you get moving more. This has nothing to do with the scale, but you get moving more, you feel better, you're sleeping deeper, you're controlling, you're maybe overeating a little bit, and now you're not overeating as much, you're making better food choices, but more is movement. Dr. Ryan Lowry talks about this. The more you move, you get the cells moving, the cells are gonna uptake those ketones much better, they're gonna use them more efficiently, now you're staying in ketosis now four to six hours after you drink one serving of keto nat where before when you weren't as moving as much because you didn't have as much energy your cells weren't as um, strong as they used to be because now they're using fat for fuel now they're in ketosis before they were just sugar burners now being fat burners are much healthier they're getting more oxygen you're also using our our 143, which is our amazing blend of MCT oil, it also has phosphatidylserine in it, which helps build the cell wall. So you're getting healthier cell walls being built. You're getting more oxygen, more ATP to the cells. So the cells, as they begin to turn over, which turn over about every 120 to 180 days, now you're turning over new cells that are getting healthier, they're getting stronger, they're getting more vital. And that's the key to optimizing your health is the vitality of the cells. Now you're in stake in ketosis much longer. So at the beginning, it may not be as long, but just be consistent with it. And you're going to find that as you employ things like intermittent fasting and our 24 fast and our keto reboot, you're going to begin to experience longer and longer durations of being in ketosis to maybe even be in ketosis overnight when you wake up. It can absolutely happen. Great question, Lisa. Thanks for asking that. Oh my gosh, and Joy Smith is saying what she's doing, a yummy mixture of the caramel broth, caramel broth with a horchata, um, a little keto pumpkin spice. So I love that. Sounds amazing. 
So Ginger, you can use the Signal OS AM and PM every single day. It is not just for the reboot because that's a DNA repair. So great question, Ginger Hayden. Thanks for asking that. That's why it's in the store all the time. You can order that and you can take it every single day. And hello, hello from around the world. Let us know where you're, um, let us know where you're watching from. If you're watching on replay, let us know where if you're watching on replay. So Marie says, what does a black label work better? So the reason that it may work better for some people is because it is unleashed. We call it unleashed because it has 30% more ketones, 30% more caffeine being that it has more being that it has more ketones in it which is beta hydroxybutyrate we have more caffeine in it we have more of the b complex more of the b vitamins more of the native eight blend in there so some people will experience a higher state of therapeutic ketosis they'll get in ketosis quicker and they'll stay there longer so maybe with the regular nat you're staying in ketosis four hours on a non-ketogenic diet and now you're actually staying in ketosis and getting there quicker so instead of getting in ketosis maybe at 40 minutes maybe Maybe you're getting in ketosis now at 20 minutes drinking it and now instead of staying there four hours now you're staying there maybe six hours again it's all individualized the more movement you can get in the stronger that your cells get the longer you're gonna be there but that's a difference I don't have it unleashed here in front of me but it is 30% more ketones approximately it's a has many many patents on the blend so approximately more ketones more caffeine more B vitamins more of the supplemented nutrients in there to keep you in that state of ketosis get you there quicker have a smoother ride up and keep you in that therapeutic state longer. So Jamie Lynn says, can you drink ketones if you use other supplements? Absolutely, I use other supplements, calcium, magnesium, if your doctor's recommended a, um, a probiotic or a prebiotic, or if your physician's recommended, again, taking an iron or a magnesium, this is not a supplement for any other supplement. This is an energy drink. So if your doctor has, has recommended or your healthcare practitioner has recommended that you take an iron or a B-complex or a probiotic or a melatonin, this is not a supplement for any of those. This is an energy drink for your body, specifically for your body. So that's a great question. Thanks for asking that. So Kara, thanks for sharing that. Kara says, hey, vegetarian, pescatarian over here. I didn't lose any fat until I started drinking ketones. So thanks for sharing that. So Jamie Lynn says, do you use the three steps or what do you use? So um, ja Jamie Lynn, if you could clarify that, I'd love to know what your question is. It's like somebody is answering it for her. Oh, great question, Jimmy, Jenny Lynn. Okay, this is a great question. So anybody who's just brand new, maybe you're sharing this, and this is absolutely meant to be shared. You can share this to your own Facebook page. You can share it through Messenger. We want to use this as an educational tool for anybody that you know wants to know more about maybe what you're doing, more to how to optimize their health, how to maybe actually just finish 2021 stronger and optimize their own health, be the best version of themselves. Maybe, uh, again, maybe lose a little bit of unwanted fat or have more energy, get to the gym more in 2022. So when do you drink ketones? Again, this is an energy drink. So when do you need energy is the question. It's kind of like, when do you drink water? So if you wake up in the morning and you're like, <sighs> I am just tired. I just wish I could wake up and have that energy that I need. Well, then you want to make sure you know you're getting enough sleep and you're working on your sleep hygiene where you're making the room dark. You're not checking your phone in the middle of the night. You want to wake up, first drink water, then drink nat next if you know that you're waking up just sluggish. Maybe you wake up fine, but in the middle of the day, middle of the morning at 9 or 10 o'clock, you're like, man, I just want some chocolate. I want a donut. I want to take a nap because you're the person who wakes up at 5 or 6 and like 9 or 10 o'clock, you're like, oh, I'm just craving something or I want to take a nap. That's when you want to drink ketones. Maybe you do great until lunch and you have lunch and then, then you want to take a nap between 1 and 3. And you're like, oh, I'm just super tired. I just wish I could just go lay down and take a nap 
snap or I want to drive through and get some ice cream or something I know is not healthy for me that's when you want to drink ketones or maybe you do great all day long you come home from work or maybe you do great you work from home and then your family comes home and you're like man i wish i was just a little happier when they came home i wish i was in better moods i wish i when i got home i had time to do the laundry and the dishes and cook dinner and do yard work and you know finish that honeydew list but i just don't have the energy that's the right time for you or maybe you're like i would love to get to the gym but every time i go to the gym i just come home like a wet noodle i come home tired and i just wish i had more energy or you're the person who lays down in bed and your wheels are still spinning and you have to do lots of tricks to get yourself to bed you have to count sheep you have to have music you have to do all these things you just can't unwind at night that's the right time for you to drink ketones prior to going to bed the uncharged version or the broth or the keto pro so the rule of thumb is 30 minutes before you want to be the best version of yourself so identify when that tired time is for you and drink it 30 minutes before or again if you have a presentation if you're getting ready to go work out and you want to have a new PR then you want to drink that 30 or 40 minutes before you want to work out I also saw the question about an athlete so I'm going to answer that question so when do you drink it as working out do you drink it during during your workout do you drink it after your workout so if you are just doing a HIIT workout which is just a 20 minute workout with small little intermittent bursts then you want to drink it about 45 minutes before so your body can uptake those ketones your brain your whole body's in ketosis 45 minutes before if you're doing an hour workout you want to drink them 30 minutes before because you know you're going to do a 10 minute workout 10 minute warm-up then you're going to hit your workout if you're doing a two hour workout or two a days, then you wanna drink it 30 minutes before, 20 to 30 minutes before, and then two hours post-workout. So if you work out from one to three, then you wanna drink it two hours post-workout, which would be 5 p.m. or five o'clock afterwards. You want it two hours post-workout. If you're doing a two hour workout, if you're an endurance athlete, or if you're doing two a day, you wanna make sure you drink another one because ketones are continued to protect that lean muscle. They're gonna continue to put oxygen into the muscle and continue to feed oxygen and ATP into that muscle belly and increase protein synthesis and continue to help protect the muscle breakdown. So hopefully that helps answer those questions and also give you that energy so you don't actually come down and just lay on your couch or your bed and watch TV, but you still feel energized after that workout. It's more about protecting your body after your workout so you get those gains that you want. Oh, great question. Brittany says, can you please explain why Nat does not break your fast? Because the reason people fast and the longer that the first bit that you fast, your body runs through the glucose. And then after a certain point, somewhere between can be 12 hours for some people, it can be 72 hours for some people, depending on your metabolics, depending on the health of your cells, people fast to get through all the glucose. Then the body runs out of glucose and goes, oh, I'm super smart. I know I've got some stored energy. I've got it in my fat. Your liver again says, I know I've got energy it goes and taps into your stored fat and breaks it down and gets ketones the reason that ketones don't break your fast is because it's like instant fast so when your body is not consuming carbohydrates like you've fasted all night while you're sleeping you're continuing to actually inject your body with fuel or drink fuel at the same time so you're increasing like a fuel injector into your car you're just injecting your body with more fuel straight ketones pure therapeutic ketones to be exact so you're feeding your cells more and more energy to help them work more efficiently it doesn't make them have to work so hard they don't have to go out and grab and uncouple that fat they're still going to actually be able to do that but a much easier time doing that it does not break your fast because the reason you're fast is to get in ketosis and this is putting you directly in ketosis there's no sugar in there that's going to actually raise your blood glucose and that's generally the definition of breaking a fast is anything that you consume that actually increases your blood glucose keto nat does not increase your blood glucose conversely it actually usually drops your blood glucose a couple of points and it increases your ketone level so that's a reason that it does not that's a great question thanks for asking that So we talked earlier, Judy, I'm not, Judy had asked about kidney disease and Melissa asked about seizures. So when we talk about any specific healthcare condition or disease state, we answered that a little bit earlier in the video. So I'm just going to let you revert back to watching the earlier part. I'm not ignoring your question. And we, Sarah, we also talked about muscular sclerosis and neurological conditions earlier in the video.
So Jesse Lee v. Liu, I don't think I'm saying your name right. Jesse Lynn Liu says, I got a question. I'm taking a medication for diabetes. She's taking metformin. Can I still take ketones? So I cannot give you medical advice here on Facebook Live, nor can I do it privately, nor can Dr. Andy or any of the other specialists cannot give you any type of medical advice to take or to stop taking or to facilitate or introduce any medication at all. We are simply here just to help educate you on our Prove It technology we have in our supplements here that you actually have to check with your healthcare provider and work with them on that. So you need to check with your healthcare provider. We cannot do that. Not any of our promoters cannot give you that information to say, yes, you can stop taking your medication. None of our promoters can do that. None of our specialists can do that. Only your pre prescribing physician can do that. So I'm sorry to, I don't want to let you down, but that's what we have to do. So Twyla Lopez says, which proof of product is particularly has been the best addition to your daily routine and what has been given you the best benefits since using it. So Twilight, I, if I get to answer this question, so I have been with Prove It since 2015. We had one flavor, which was the orange swirl, which I was so excited about. I was having trouble staying in a higher level of therapeutic ketosis and I was still pretty tired. It was in ketosis, but still tired. Drank my orange swirl and boom, went up to 1.8 ketone level and felt like the Energizer Bunny. I was super excited about that, but I was having to use another, I was making my own bone broth for three days at a time, which is exhausting. So times and I was also using a different um, electrolyte so I was very very excited to actually have the bone broth that was infused with ketones that had a controlled level of protein and didn't have any fat because oftentimes when I was making my own bone broth I was guesstimating the protein because too much protein still stimulates insulin which can take you out of ketosis so I can make lovely lovely bone broth that was gelatinous but it could have too much protein so I was super excited about the bone broth I still love the bone broth I still use it um, I use it several times a week because it's an amazing 45 calories. The hyaluronic acid and type 2 collagen is amazing. Um, I love the Mitoplex because the PQ2, so I was using a different electrolyte, so I was super excited, and I was actually bugging Brian Underwood. I'm like, we need an electrolyte because people are using something else that's not as good, so I knew this was in the pipeline. I'm not answering your question very well. And Keto Cream. I actually have four boxes sitting over that I just got. I'm super excited about the Dairy-Free Maple Keto Cream. I was doing a fat coffee already with MCT, grass-fed butter, coconut milk, so I was really excited to find out when I was traveling a ton, um, before COVID that they actually had a keto cream. So I do wake up in the morning, I have my keto nat, I have my keto cream, I have my electrolytes um, every day, and I do use my keto pro at bedtime when I'm fasting, um, and I do 24 fast one to two times a week. I do use my bone broth, so I do some recipes with bone broth, so thank you for asking me. I use, again, whatever, um, it's winter time, so I do more of the broth during the winter time. Um, I do a lot of slushies and smoothies with the keto pro that are delicious with banana and chocolate. I love that we have some dairy-free options for the vegan and vegetarians with the banana using the pumpkin-based protein. I'm excited that we had the maple, the dairy-free keto cream came out. Super excited about that for so many people. So um, thanks for asking me. So I think our time, it may be close to being up. So again, with the Parkinson's disease, um, we have Dr. Mary Newbart who created um, our 143 formula has got a book out on Parkinson's. Amazing book, I would recommend that you read. Um, I know Brian Underwood has also shared some recommendations he has gotten from Dr. Ford and Dr. Cunane. I think Dr. Cunane about recommendations on serving size for people of Parkinson's and ALS, dementia. I think serving size for 143 should be up to two tablespoons of 143. Current research for preventative of people who have had any type of neurological disease in your first generation of family, whether it's diabetes, because type 3 diabetes is called Alzheimer's or dementia or ALS, other anything like that, neurological diseases, you need to start prevention at the age of 25. Prevention is cutting out processed sugars, artificial sugars, eating a low carb, healthy, clean diet, not processed keto stuff, but healthy, clean diet, grains above ground, above ground greens, healthy protein, clean protein, locally grown when possible, adding healthy cold water fish in there, plant fats when possible, however that looks for your lifestyle, participating in intermittent fasting, participating in 124 fast a week, 
two tablespoons of MCT again our 143 has C8 C10 C12 C14 C16 a nice blend of MCTs and LCTs which is medium and long chain triglycerides our keto cream has three different MCTs in there plus collagen which is amazing for your body and for your brain plus adding the of course our hero product which is our nat to that that recipe so always start with nat first because that's our hero product and the last question i'll end with was on tummy stuff so if you're getting too much or your body's not ready to get too keto adapted too quickly you can always start out with our sister product which is our nat light this is half the serving about half the ketones this is parent approved there's no caffeine in it so you can always start with a nat light which is about half the serving of our nat again caffeine free four different flavors yummy 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 and you can always mix and match any of these flavors that you want to but if you start out and you're having a little bit of diarrhea a little tummy irritation then either reduce the serving half a serving in the morning have a serving in the afternoon still mix it up and just reduce the water size but have a little bit of protein or a little bit of fat so three or four olives a tablespoon of guacamole a handful of nut butter or a bite of tuna salad or chicken salad or maybe a meatball or you know something a little bit of a little bit of fish or a little bit of protein with it that will slow down the absorption don't dilute it into a gallon jug but keep it again if you're doing half a serving then you want to do it in about six to eight ounces of water on a half a serving or a half a serving let your body get acclimated and then when the gut slows down then actually increase to a full serving if it happens first thing in the morning on an empty stomach then wait till you have a little bit of food in your stomach again it can be three or four olives four or five cashews a teaspoon or tablespoon of a nut butter give me a bite of a ch uh, chia pudding or hemp pudding a porridge something like that and just allow your body to slow down the absorption with a little bit of food and give your body time especially if you have a sensitive tummy if you know you've had a history of having a processed food diet then you know your pH is off at balance in your gut probably if you know you've eaten processed food fast food for decade after decade after decade remember ketones are our natural fuel source we were born in this world in a state of ketosis and you probably haven't been there for a while if you've been eating a standard global diet with peanut butter and jelly macaroni and cheese cheese it's uh, um, hot dogs Teddy Grahams, graham crackers, hamburgers, french fries, just the standard food. I can't think what those standard foods are. And remember, going back to the basics of eating, we're still eating a hamburger. We're just ditching the bun and having a lettuce wrap instead. We're still eating tacos. We're just having a taco salad instead of the flour wheat wrap and the artificial cheese stuff. So again, my name is Dr. Heather Carden. I am one of your um, I am one of your specialists here at Prove It. Super excited to be here with you on this Wednesday to help you better understand all of our amazing products that we have here. And we have a very special weekend coming up. If you're attending Epic this weekend, which is our annual celebration of all our amazing, uh, all amazing contributions to the world and to, I'm going to say to the world um, here, then let me know, write down Epic down below so we know you're going to be attending. And we have so many amazing performers coming to attend, so many amazing prizes are going to be given out and celebrating everybody's major accomplishments that we have to actually optimizing people's better health so excited to see you guys all virtually at epic this weekend and don't forget every Wednesday 1 o'clock Central Standard Time tune in it will be a different specialist live to help you better understand all things ketones and ketosis and if I didn't get your question answered you can always search the word up above in the search bar you can look back at the last three or four years of Facebook lives or get back with the person that invited you to the this page and they can absolutely help you find the answer to that question you guys have an amazing day cheers and keep on proving it bye bye